Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what secrets the stars hold? Well, you're in for a treat. Today, we're going on an incredible journey to explore some of the most amazing discoveries in deep space. From mysterious distant planets to colossal cosmic events, each discovery we'll uncover is a reminder of how vast and wondrous our universe truly is. So, get ready to have your mind blown by the marvels of the cosmos as we delve into eight deep space discoveries that will leave you in absolute awe. First, let's talk about a really big planet called Kepler, 452b. It's way out in space, about 1,400 light years away from Earth. That's really far. Kepler 452b is called a super Earth because it's much bigger than our planet. It's like Earth's big cousin in space. Kepler 452b is special because it orbits a star a lot like our Sun. It takes almost a year to go around its star, just a little longer than it takes Earth to go around the Sun. That's pretty cool, right? What's really exciting about Kepler 452b is where it is in space. It's in a place around its star where it's not too hot and not too cold. Scientists call this the Goldilocks zone. It's just right for water to be there, and where there's water, there might be life. We don't know if anything lives there, but it's fun to think about. There's something else about Kepler 452b. Its star is older and brighter than our sun. This might mean the planet is very hot because of something called the greenhouse effect. It's like when a car gets really hot inside when it's sunny. So, Kepler 452b might be showing us what could happen to Earth a long, long time from now. Isn't it amazing to think about a planet like Earth but so far away? Kepler 452b is just one of the cool things we found in space. There's more to discover, so let's keep going and see what else is out there. Now let's zoom in a bit closer to home and talk about Mars, our next door neighbor in space. Mars has been in the news a lot because scientists found something really interesting there, methane gas. This might not sound exciting at first, but it's a big deal. You see, on Earth, most of the methane comes from living things like plants and animals. So finding methane on Mars makes scientists wonder if there could be life there too. It's like finding a clue in a giant space mystery. Mars rovers, like Curiosity, have been sniffing around and measuring this methane. Sometimes there's a lot of it, and other times, not so much. This change is puzzling and exciting. It means Mars is an active planet with things happening we don't fully understand yet. Imagine, just maybe, tiny microbes living under Mars's surface, releasing methane. Or it could be something totally different, like chemical reactions we haven't seen before. Either way, this discovery keeps the dream of finding life on Mars alive. Mars is full of secrets, and methane is just one piece of the puzzle. It's discoveries like these that keep us looking up at the stars, full of hope and curiosity. What else will we find on Mars? Only time and more space missions will tell. Next up, we're going to talk about something really explosive, the collision of neutron stars. This is one of the most powerful events in the universe, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. Neutron stars are super dense, like really, really packed tight. They're the leftovers when big stars explode. Now imagine two of these dense stars spinning around each other, getting closer and closer, and then, bam, they crash into each other. When this happens, it's like a giant fireworks show in space. It's so bright and powerful that we can see it from Earth, billions of light years away. The collision also makes waves in space called gravitational waves, which are like ripples in a pond, but in space. It's super cool because it's like seeing and feeling the fabric of the universe move. These star crashes do more than just make a big show. They also create gold, platinum, and other heavy metals. That's right, the gold in your jewelry might have come from colliding neutron stars. Isn't that a wild thought? The collision of neutron stars is more than just a spectacular event. It's a key to understanding our universe, where elements come from, and even how gravity works. It's like nature's own science lab, showing us the wonders of the cosmos in the most dramatic way. Now let's venture beyond Mars and talk about something really cool, ice volcanoes. Yes, you heard that right. Volcanoes, but with ice. These aren't on Earth, but far away on moons like Europa and Triton. 
Ice volcanoes, or cryovolcanoes as scientists call them, are like Earth's volcanoes, but instead of lava, they spew out water, ice, and gases. Imagine a mountain shooting out icy plumes into space. It's like a snow cannon on a massive scale. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is a great place to see these icy wonders. Scientists think Europa has a huge ocean under its icy surface. When the ice cracks, it creates these amazing ice volcanoes. It's like Earth's geysers, but in space. These ice volcanoes are super important for us. They might be spraying ocean water from below Europa's surface. And where there's water, there might be life. This makes Europa one of the best places to look for life outside Earth. The idea of ice volcanoes is not just cool. It's a clue in our search for alien life. Every icy plume is a chance to learn more about these distant worlds and the secrets they hold. Who knows what we'll discover next in these frozen fountains of space. Next, we're going back home to our very own galaxy, the Milky Way. Get ready for this. Scientists have taken a picture of a black hole right in the heart of our galaxy. Its name is Sagittarius A, and it's a real monster. Black holes are like cosmic vacuum cleaners. They're so strong that not even light can escape them. That's why seeing one is so hard. But scientists did it by using special telescopes and a lot of clever tricks. Sagittarius A is huge, about 4 million times the mass of our sun. It's right in the middle of the Milky Way, holding things together with its powerful gravity. It's like the anchor of our galaxy. The image of this black hole is more than just a picture. It's proof that black holes are real, not just something in science fiction. It also helps us understand how galaxies like ours work and evolve. Seeing Sagittarius A for the first time is a milestone in astronomy. It's like taking a selfie with the universe. It reminds us that there are incredible things out there waiting to be discovered. And we're just getting started on this cosmic journey. Now let's talk about something really mysterious, Oumuamua. This isn't just any space rock. It's the first known interstellar object to visit our solar system. That means it came from another star, not from around here. Oumuamua was discovered in 2017, and it surprised everyone. It's long and skinny, like a giant cosmic cigar, and it's moving really fast. Scientists had never seen anything like it before. The mystery of Oumuamua gets even stranger. It doesn't move like a regular asteroid or comet. Instead, it speeds up and slows down in a way that puzzled everyone. What could be causing this? Some people even wondered if it was an alien spaceship. While the alien theory is a bit far-fetched, Oumuamua is still a fascinating puzzle. It could be a new type of object we've never seen before. Every bit of data we gather about it helps us understand more about our vast and varied universe. Oumuamua is a reminder that space is full of surprises. It's like a messenger from a distant star, bringing us a mystery to solve. Who knows what other secrets are out there, traveling between the stars? Now let's zoom out even further and witness something truly grand galactic mergers. This is when two galaxies, each with billions of stars, come together and combine into one. It's a cosmic dance on an unimaginable scale. When galaxies merge, it's not like a car crash. It's more like a slow dance that takes millions of years. The stars inside don't usually collide because they're so far apart. Instead, they weave around each other, pulled by gravity. These mergers are important because they're how galaxies grow and evolve. Our own Milky Way is on a collision course with the Andromeda Galaxy. Don't worry though, it won't happen for about 4 billion years. Now let's talk about something really wild in space, magnetars. These are like stars with superpowers. Magnetars are kind of like neutron stars, but they have the strongest magnetic fields in the universe. Imagine a magnet so powerful it could lift a mountain. Magnetars come from big star explosions like neutron stars. But what's really interesting is their magnetic field. It's so strong that it can affect things thousands of miles away. It's like having a giant magnet in space that can move things around. These amazing magnetic fields can cause some crazy things to happen. They can make bright flashes of light and even shake up space itself. It's like having a giant space lighthouse that can also make space waves. Wow, 
We've talked about some incredible things today. From a planet that could be like Earth's cousin, to mysterious visitors from other star systems, and even stars with unbelievable powers. It's amazing to think about all the things that are out there in space, waiting to be discovered. Every discovery we talked about today shows us just how vast and wonderful the universe is. There's so much out there beyond our little planet. Every star, every planet, and every strange space object has a story to tell. Remember, the universe is full of mysteries, and we're just beginning to uncover them. So keep looking up at the night sky, full of stars and wonder. Who knows what we'll discover next? Thank you for joining me on this journey through the stars. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering, and keep dreaming about the endless possibilities of our incredible universe. Goodbye for now.